my friend Blastoise93 offered to go shopping at some of the coolest Pokemon card shops in Canada. And of course I said yes, go shopping and send all this stuff over to the Pokecave for us to open up. And I also gave him a budget of 500 Canadian dollars, so let's take a look at all the cool stuff he was able to find. What's going on Pokecave? It's Blastoise underscore 93, and in today's video, we're going on a $500 shopping spree sponsored by Pokerev to see what we can find. All right guys, so, it's not a true Canadian Pokemon hunt without going to Timmy's and grabbing a double-double. Check that off the list. We've just pulled up to the first spot. Let's head inside and see what we can find. All right, guys, so this is going to be stop number one today. Maximum Cards and Collectibles here in Whitby, Ontario, Canada. They've got sports cards. They've got Flesh and Blood. They've got Magic. They've got Yu-Gi-Oh! And, of course, they've got Pokemon. Let's head inside, see what we can find, and uh, let's pick up a few things. Hey, how are you? Hey, buddy. How's it going? All right, so they got some Pokemon. They got some sealed Pokemon stuff on the wall. Looks like they've got sports cards over here. Some more sealed Pokemon stuff over here. Some evolution stuff, Charizard promos. We got some amazing rares. Radiant Venusaur. Mega Blastoise CX from Evolutions. Love to see it. We got some other slabs here. That's pretty cool. Looks like, okay, we've got even more slabs over here. So let's take a look. All right, we got Champion's Path, Secret Rare Charizard, VMAX, that rainbow, Japanese base set, a few Evolutions Charizards actually. A couple hollows, couple reverse. Got some different trainers. We've got some older stuff down at the bottom too. We got base set Zard. Got my favorite Blastoise artwork at, well, one of my favorite Blastoise artworks actually, the Secret Wonders one. Special delivery Charizard down there too. Looks like we've got some singles here too. Always gotta take a look in the singles box. Never know what you're gonna find, like some older stuff. Like, like that, like <laughs> you're pulling out base set hollows, like can't complain, base two. Okay, wow. Yeah, so we've got some older stuff too, like diamond and pearl black and white era cards. Those are pretty sweet. I might have to go through some of those a little later. And then we've got some newer stuff, some Vs, some full arts, GXs, shiny vault. Oh, there's some vintage in there too. That's sweet sealed product we're gonna buy some product send it over to rev he can rip it some three packs always love the three packs i should grab a paldea evolve three pack some old school binders still sealed eh you don't see those all the time so those are pretty cool no cards in them unfortunately but they're a nice pickup for vintage collectors i think those tins the galade and rotom v i think those have Evolving Skies packs in them. So we might have to grab one of those. All right, guys, I'm gonna think about it and we're gonna grab a few things off the shelf here and we'll get back to you. All right, guys, so here's a quick look at what we picked up from Maximum Cards. Uh, we've got the Paldea Mini Tin, we've got the ETB, ETB, we've got the Pikachu uh, Crown Zenith box, we've got a Hidden Potential Tin, and I decided to grab a PSA 8 Charizard Hollow from Evolutions for today's giveaway. All right, guys, so here we are, stop number two, this place called Oshawa Markets. It's essentially a flea market with a bunch of different vendors inside, uh, ranging from like Pokemon cards to jewelry to antiques to you name it. So we're gonna head in there and see what we can find. All right, guys, so this is where we're at, Oshawa Markets. Um, probably like comparable to a setup sort of like Frankensons, except Frankensons is usually all collectibles, all TCGs, video games, all that kind of stuff. Whereas this place has cosmetics and jewelry and decor and that kind of stuff, like I mentioned. So we're gonna walk around a bit. We're gonna take a look at some of the different vendors and we're gonna see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some pretty cool Pokemon stuff. All right, guys, so we've got a lot of cool stuff here, a lot of nice graded cards and singles. Um, gotta stay within budget though. So we're gonna pick up the Shining Fates ETB and we're gonna go with some Fates Collides single pack blisters. So really excited to see what comes out of these and can never go wrong with some Shining Fates stuff. All right, guys, so we're seeing lots of sports stuff. Some Pokemon singles down here. Probably gonna be pretty picked through like commons on common stuff. There's hollows, $2 each or three for five. Not quite what we're looking for, but uh, we're gonna keep looking here. Oh, okay. It looks like we've found some stuff. So we've got some Pokemon Go tins. We've got some pin collections. We've got the jumbo packs. We've got some Pokeballs, Great Balls, Ultra Balls. We got some other tins. Looks like we've got some Crown Zenith boxes, Celebration, Champion's Path. Oh, we've got a Charizard and Reshiram GX box back there. Um, okay, so we could 
we could do some stuff here. So we got some more sealed booster boxes, three pack blisters. Looks like burning shadows right there. Well, I'm gonna sift through some of this stuff, guys. And if we're able to pull anything out and make a purchase and add to our, our haul for today, I'll definitely let you guys know. All right, guys, so we're leaving Oshawa Markets. Uh, we were able to find a few things, not too, too many spots to grab some Pokemon. There was a lot of product, uh, but a lot of it was overpriced or just run of the mill type thing. And that's not what we were looking for today. So I will show you the last pieces that we did pick up uh, at this trip at the Oshawa Markets. And yeah, stay tuned. So it is starting to rain, guys. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. The last things that we picked up from Oshawa Markets was the Rush Ram and Charizard GX Premium Collection box and two three-pack blisters of Burning Shadows. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it, at least for my part of the video. We met our budget, $500, Pokemon Shopping Spree in Canada. I'm gonna get all of this stuff packaged up. We're gonna ship it over to Rev. He's gonna open it up. Uh, it's gonna take a few days, but for you guys, it's probably just gonna be a matter of seconds. I hope you had fun shopping with me today and I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day. And really quickly before we get started, Danny wanted to let me know that he picked up two items out of the budget for a giveaway, so there's going to be two winners. One of them I know is a Paldea Evolved Elite Trainer Box. The other one's a great card, but I don't know what the card is. So if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right, so there's a bunch of stuff in this box. The first thing is like this bag that I started ripping open, and I'm just going to kind of randomly take stuff out. All right, I'm not looking. I know these are blisters. So I can feel it. Ooh, oh, oh, let's go. We got some Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Three-pack blisters, baby. All right, let's go hunting for the Rainbow Charizard. So I actually have not even seen the vlog that Danny did, uh, but I'm sure you guys probably saw it in the beginning of this video. I have not seen it yet, so because I don't want to know the stuff that he got yet, so I want to kind of figure it out as we're going along. So you guys might know some of the things that are in here already, but I have no clue. All right, I'm hyped. I'm always hyped to open up Burning Shadows. Because all it takes is one booster pack to pull the Rainbow Charizard. And it's uh, it was one booster pack, but um, it's pretty tough to find that pack. But if you find it, you got yourself a Rainbow Charizard, the first one ever made. Can we get it today? Sandy Gast, Gyarados, Reverse, into a Vile Plume Hollow. I don't know what the odds are pulling that card, but I feel like it's like one in 2,000 packs if I had to guess. Green Code card on the second pack in, which means that there's probably not going to be a pull. But let's see if maybe we could get something. We got Horsey. Lady Ba, Hoot Hoot, Vulpix. Oh, I've been wanting to go around and go shopping at different card shops around the world, honestly, and it's been a little tougher than I expected to be able to get out, but uh, luckily we've got friends in all different places here, so we're gonna see more similar videos to this coming up really soon, so make sure you subscribe. All right, so we have a second three-pack blister of Burning Shadows, so let's see what we got on this one. All right, so we got our three-packs. Again, but maybe this time... Oh, Green Coat card's the worst to get on Burning Shadows. Uh, and the quality of Burning Shadows cards is always so bad. Uh, usually it's bad. Sometimes it's good. It just depends on the print run that you get. I know there's a bunch of print runs where they were just like, print it like crazy, just not changing the blades, cutting stuff, and it was so bad. All right, come on. Two more Burning Shadows packs. We got the Ho pack artwork. Do I look again at the code card? Ooh, nice. Okay, we're good. Green code card. Green and white, baby. All right, let's get something good here. Let's get something better than a regular hollow. Electabuzz, Sophocles, Bodybuilding, Dumbbells, Riolu, Meowth, Vulpix, and a regular hollow sandcastle. Dude, what's with the luck on burning shadows packs from Canada? I don't understand what's happening right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Was the three-pack a complete strikeout? No. That was bad. That's all right, though. I love opening burning shadows. And getting nothing. I'm digging back in the giant bag. What do we got here? Feels like sleeve packs. All right, we have... Oh, yes. Dude, we got Fates Collide, and we got two Lugia pack artworks. You know me so well. Okay. <laughs> We're going for that Alakazam, baby. Fates Collide. Ooh, it's facing the other way. Okay, so we can't tell. Perfect. Three on, the, on these ones. These are pretty off center on the back. Let's see what the front looks like. Whoa, that's pretty off, guys. That's... Very off-center. That's close to a miscut. I'll put that to the side. I have like this miscut sort of like off-center stack of cards that I've been hoarding for a while now. And uh, I'm going to send them all in and see like what they what kind of stuff they grade. Snorlax just rolling everybody over. That's me at bedtime. I'm just like, I'm just a wrecking ball to get my sleep. You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> Next one. Um, okay. Okay. Let's see if we get something on this one. Should I look at it? Oh, no. <laughs> 
I always, anytime I look, it's always a green code card. That's my luck, though. Wiggly Tough. All right, what else we got in here? Minchino, Wismer, Snivy, Finnegan, Jigglypuff, Snivy Reverse, Carbink. Where's the Canadian luck? What's happening right now? Come on, fates collide. And these are sleeve packs, too, which is smart because you can't really be like weight or anything like that. Um, when buying loose packs, you always got to kind of be careful. But these ones, sleeved ones, are usually good to go. One, two, three. So maybe we'll get something nice on this one. Shuckle. Last is special. Weezing, Burmy, Cottony, Riolu. Come on. Bronzong reverse. Bronzong non hollow. And we have one more. Fates collide. What's our fate going to be on this one? Possibly nothing. I was on, like, this is what it is, guys. Opening up packs. If you go back, like, if you go back Sun and Moon, like early days Sun and Moon, mid Sun and Moon, even like X and Y, depending on which set, early X and Y, mid, mid range uh, X and Y, like, the pull rates were not there at all, honestly. And it was t way tougher. We got it easier now. Ooh, that's actually a fire holo. Look at that. With the Alakazam in the background. Dude, that's actually sick. Our next item up is going to be a Gallade tin, and I don't remember what's in these. Is it Lost Origin? I think it's Lost Origin. 2022. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a bunch of Lost Origin in here. Well, I'm not sure. Can't remember. Let's see. So you do have the V card on the top here. So let's pop that open. V card, Gallade. Nothing too crazy on that. There's a code card for you guys if you want to grab that. And then, yeah, okay. Definitely at least one, two. Fusion, a chilling, and a chilling. Okay, sweet. All right, we'll take that. Let me know any other, I guess, like cities, countries, wherever that you want to see uh, shopping for Pokemon cards. Because I got something else lined up that's pretty cool. But let me know any any diff any specific places you guys might. Know. All right, chilling rain booster pack number one. Let's see if we get something out of here. Uh, of course not. Green code card. One, two, three, four. Maybe an error. Maybe we get something. Probably not. Old Cemetery, but let's just give it a shot. Lediba. Why is the luck so bad? <laughs> okay, this has to be good. Chilling Rain can save us right now. Four. From the back to the front. I want to. I feel like we're going to get something really good in one of these ne these three packs here. Ooh, what the heck? Well, I was right about something weird happening. That is like... Dude, that was a weird error. Look at that. Farfetch. It's like... I don't even know. Crazy. Okay, it was just that card mainly. Tauros and a Cresselia. Oh, it's on the back too. I have no idea. No idea. Some of the weird stuff that you might see when you open Pokemon cards. All right, so we got Lost Origin pack number one. Let's see if we get something out of here. Lost Origin, definitely a top tier set from the Sword and Shield. I said Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield era. Gligar, Wormpull. It's actually crazy bad luck right now. How many packs do we open? Three, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 34, 15. This is like pack number 15. Haven't even gotten like a V card. Oof. 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 Isken, Slugma, Clefairy, Porygon. Stone Journer. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes. Sometimes it's bad. So I'm back in the bag, but I found a smaller bag within the bag. And it is a Walgreens bag, but that is definitely a great card. So that's not from Walgreens. All right, unless you got different Walgreens in Canada or something. Oh, uh, they don't, don't sell great cards. Anyway, it's definitely a great card. Let's see what it is. We'll, we'll flip it over and see what the card is. Oh, wow. Dude, you actually said a Charizard. <laughs> that must have took a lot. <laughs> if you guys don't know, uh, Blastoise Knife is all about Blastoise, and he's definitely not about Charizard life. I'll tell you that much. Like That is shocking that you even held this in your hands. But we have it now. So let's see what it is. It's probably, I'm going to say it's an 8. Because the centering's off a lot. I'm going to say it's an 8, but it looks clean. And it is a near mint 8. I should be a card grader. Just kidding. I don't, I, I, no. Next up, I think there's a collection box. Ooh, that might be a good one. Okay, okay, let's let's get it, let's get it. Oh, and I almost forgot. This is the giveaway item uh, for the the giveaway. So this is, uh, it was a Pade Evolved Elite Trainer Box. And then this Charizard card is getting given away as well. So there's going to be two different winners. Make sure to enter the giveaway today. That's pretty cool. Now, we have this insane collection box. The Rush Ram and Charizard GX Premium Collection Box. This is one of the coolest collection boxes because it has a tag team gold card. Rush Ram and Charizard. I'm just, just going to rip this open. I don't, even, I don't even care. Just going in. Look at this thing. Oh, my God. There's way more packs back there. You wouldn't even know. 
you wouldn't even know what they were. Wow. This right here is a collection box, I gotta say. Look at this. All right. So we got a gold jumbo Charizard Rush Ram. That's amazing. I think these were a GameStop exclusive. Um, and then you get this card. Like this, you literally just get this card thrown in there. Just like guaranteed. And then not only that, here's a code card. But you get three Evolving Skies. You get two Chilling Rain. No, sorry. You get two more Chilling Rain. Make it four Chilling Rain. Sorry, one more. Make it five Chilling Rain. Uh, and then two Vivid Voltage. All right, we got we got a pretty nice stack right there. So officially, the guaranteed card is the best pull that we got today so far. And a green code card to start off with the Bobbing Skies. Yes, not really. That's terrible. That's like the worst pulls ever right now. Oh man, Flaffy. Oh, okay. No! I just need to stop looking. It's like the worst thing ever for my luck is when I look at the code card color. I don't know about you guys. So I'm not even going to... I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look at the code card. I'm not going to look at the code card. But I, it will not be a green code card when I don't look. Put it right there. And we're going to go like this. The green code cards only appear when I peek. That's the trick. Oh, that's a green code card, isn't it? Okay. Dude, what is my luck today? Okay, I don't know. Never mind. Whatever. One, two, three, four. Chilling Rain. Has some nice cards in it. I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to get right to it. Tornit. Our first V card pull. Our first V card pull, baby. This is. <laughs> it's a V card. It's just a V card. But it's, it's good because it's bringing us in the right direction that we need to go. And that's to get pulls. That's literally the first pull we got was our $1 or $2 Tornado V card. And I will take that. Gladly take that as something. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. For real? This is so bad. Look, this is, like, so bad. It's not even close to... It's not even close to being decent. What have you done? <laughs> oh, my God. No, I mean, it's all from sealed product. It's just our luck right now. This is not happening at all. All right. One amazing alternate work could change everything for us, though. Spiel. Oh, God. Okay. Whew. Yes, we got a good code card color. Okay. There's still a chance for us here. We're not completely out. We're down, but we're not out. Weedle. Clefairy Welmer. Oh, Zapdos. How many packs are we in now? This is crazy. We got to be, oh, my God. Close to 30 packs or something? Am I... No, like 25? I don't know. We're we're in it right now. All right, there's got to be something in here. Luck cannot be stay that bad, can it? <laughs> yeah. Can. This little tin right here is going to be our best luck item of this entire video. Watch this. Hey, Coco. Some olive. Come on. All right. Here we go. It's, it's going to be Scarlet and Violet base and a Silver Tempest. Okay. Silver Tempest is good. Let's see. There's no card tricks on this one. So we got Bruxious. Some more Pokemon. Some more Pokemon. Slowpoke. Probably our best pull, literally. That's our best pull, besides that gold Charizard Reshiram. And we got Silver Tempest to bring us back. Okay. Silver Tempest. But yeah, thank you to Blastoise93 for going shopping in Canada and sending us over some cool stuff to open up and give away to you guys. I'm having fun. Durant. Oh, my God. The last item, but this actually could save us. It's going to be a Pikachu VMAX special collection, but if you guys know about this, there are Crown Zenith packs inside of here. And if you guys know Crown Zenith, it's amazing. It's it's amazing. Crown Zenith pull rates are impossibly good. There's a couple Pikachus there. There's a giant Pikachu there. And here we go, our Crown Zenith booster packs. All right, let's get to it. Let's see. We got five Crown Zenith packs, five shots. To get some madness. Some crazy. Radiant Eternus to start it off. Not bad. Pack number two. Remember, Crown Zenith. Watch the hands. This is going to be crazy. Watch the hands. No pack tricks needed on this one. Straight to nothingness. Okay. Straight to nothing. That's fine. That's fine. Crown Zenith pack number three. Come on. Come on. Straight to nothing. Wow. Crown Zenith pack number four. This is going to be the one where we get so many craziness things pulls oh 
Wow! Yo! The best card that we pulled on 100%. The secret rare Pikachu full art, baby. Let's go. I actually forgot that card even existed. I haven't pulled that card in so long. I completely forgot about that. Crown Zenith saves the day. We got one more booster pack here for our mystery box opening from Canada. All right. Here goes nothing. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four. Final booster pack. Let's see what we get. Come on, Gloom. Ooh. Great ball. Let's pack magic, baby. Let's pack magic, baby. Coughing, Matang, and a giant monkey. All right, but thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want some more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.